Greetings, everyone. I extend my warm welcome to all those who have joined me on this webinar. This session has been designed to offer a quick overview of the digital signature app Zoho Sign, followed by a complete walkthrough of its recently in announced integration with the Zoho Finance apps. Before we get into this session, I want to ensure once again that nobody in the audience is facing any sort of technical issues. I hope that everybody can hear my voice loud and clear and have a clean view of my screen. If you're facing any trouble hearing me or seeing my screen, do let me know right away using the chat option. I've received several messages that uh, the audio and the video are pretty good uh, to go, so I'll get started. So my name is Sai Anand. I'm a product marketer for Zoho Sign, and I will be your presenter for this session. I have been working with the Zoho Sign team for over a year now, where I have continued to interact with several users while researching different ways to improve customer journeys. I hope you find this presentation today informative and useful. And of course, it goes without saying that as the audience, you are welcome to raise any questions you may have at any time during the session by dropping your questions in the chat. I will look to answer your questions in the question and answer segment towards the end of the webinar. And I will also be emailing a copy of the webinar deck and a recording of this session to everybody that has registered within the next few days. So here's a quick look at what we have on the agenda for today's session. First, I will speak briefly about what digital signatures are and why we must use the technology. Then I will offer a quick overview of Zoho Sign as a digital signature application. Following that, I will dive into the main focus of the session, which is a walkthrough of Zoho Sign's integration with Zoho Finance apps, namely Zoho Books, Zoho Invoice, and Zoho Inventory. Towards the end, I will engage the audience in a live question and answer segment where I will be reading and responding to your questions from the chat. It's an undeniable fact that we are all presently in a digital era and our reliance on digital technology is now more than ever. So here's an important question I want to ask all of you. Is your business either in part or completely still doing paperwork the following way? Meaning you fetch information from various sources and draft the paperwork manually. Collabor you then collaborate with your peers to get your paperwork reviewed. You then run around to get the paperwork printed, scanned, and copied. Then have the paperwork signed manually in person by the signatories. And then you send it out to various parties through mail or fax. And then spend the next few days waiting for the turnaround for the deal or agreement to be formalized. Following which you raise billing and complete other financial formalities, if any. And then you update customer and transaction records in your books seal and store away the signed paperwork in secure cabinets. And finally, when it comes down to it, you, you have to search and retrieve the stored paperwork for audits and accounting. If you notice, this is a lot of manual work and there's little to no digitization involved in the process. Therefore, if you answered yes to the question you see on the screen, you're bound to run into issues. And by issues, I don't mean just one or two. They can be a handful. As you can see, the paperwork can be heavily repetitive, tiring, and cumbersome, and it might involve extensive collaboration and running around. And there is always the concern that since it's physical paperwork, it could be forged or tampered with. And uh, if you have them stored away in a physical location, there could be uh, the possibility of it being damaged or lost in a very unlikely scenario of a disaster. And more importantly, how it affects your business is that you have to wait extremely long periods for the paperwork to be turned around when uh, getting it signed and formalized. And this paperwork in general can be a huge drain on your resources in terms of uh, money, space, and labor. Meaning you could, spend, you could be spending a lot of money printing out this paperwork. You would have a lot of space constraints storing away the stored paperwork. And you could also have a lot of uh, people running around getting signatures uh, when it's so much easier doing it other ways. And eventually how this affects your business in general is that if you're a small to medium business, scaling your operations with your growth becomes extremely difficult as you would have to deploy a lot more resources and a lot more personnel to get process addressed with the way that you do uh, in terms of physical paperwork. So how do you combat this and uh, how do you take the next step towards digitizing your paperwork through digital signatures? So digital signatures, also known as e-signatures or electric, uh, electronic signatures, 
They are the digital alternative to physical paperwork of wet signatures made with ink and seals. Digital signatures can help you significantly reduce manual data collection and make quick work of collecting signatures to formalize paperwork from the comfort of your desk using your PC or laptops or on the go with your mobile devices. So how do digital signatures work? They work by attaching a digital fingerprint of the signer to the document they are signing. It's as simple as that. And this digital fingerprint, just like their actual fingerprint, is quite unique to the signer and cannot be forged by the others. Additionally, tampering with a digitally signed document causes irreversible changes to the digital fingerprint and therefore immediately invalidates the document. Digital signatures also offer enormous security as the documents being signed are subjected to high standards of end user encryption. Moreover, they also use authentication mechanisms which can be used to establish the identity of the signers with ease and therefore serve as a measure of non-repudiation wherein a signer cannot, denying, cannot deny signing a document that they have. And of course, digital, digitally signed documents are just as legally binding as physically signed documents and can thus be used in courts as the technology itself is compliant with various electronic transactions and digital laws around the world. So now let's talk about Zoho Sign. Zoho Sign is a complete digital signature solution that is used by thousands of small and medium sized businesses across the globe today. And they use this to securely sign, send and manage their business documents entirely online. The key functions and features of Zoho Sign being, it allows you to collect signatures in documents and even approval. And in this, there are several uh, additional features such as being able to collect signatures from multiple signatories in one document through a designated signing order and have different signing modes enabled for the signers and also have various roles associated with the recipient such as just being a signer on the document or being an approver or being a person who simply receives a signed copy. In addition, uh, to prevent the long turnaround periods, there is also an option to remind recipients to sign the documents if they haven't done so. To complement these basic features, we also have several advanced features that reduce your paperwork uh, processing time, such as being able to collect signatures in person, but using a device and uh, to be able to send documents out to a large list in bulk and also create reusable templates of documents that you frequently send out or have a form-based signing process which can be publicly accessed so that you can get uh, things like registration forms, policy documents signed. Uh, and we call this feature sign forms. Now, the most notable thing about Zoho Sign in addition to all of these is that the product itself is entirely built on top of our own REST APIs. Now, what this allows for us to do is that we have, it has made us easy, uh, it has made it easy for us to integrate Zoho Sign with your popular apps and several uh, third-party applications which people have uh, requested in the past. And it also offers as users to you the option to integrate it uh, in a customized manner with your own in-house applications or websites. We also offer web hooks which allow us, which, which are an addition uh, or an extension of our API, allowing you to build more custom integrations on top of uh, the, uh, the API-based third-party integrations. And some so here are some of the other key highlights offered uh, by Zoho Sign. Zoho Sign supports 12 languages and offers several custom branding options, such as being able to add your company logo and customize email templates with your own text and brand colors so as to align it with your brand identity. You also have the option of setting your own legal disclosure when sending documents out to, uh, to signers. You can configure the application to send emails from your organization's email address by verifying your domain ownership. And you can also have the signers land on custom landing pages upon signing the documents you send them for signature. On top of this, uh, we, talking about security, Zoho Sign offers a military grade encryption and document security, meaning that the entire application is built using the public key infrastructure system, wherein the signing keys are stored in FIPS compliant hardware security modules, which are located in our data centers. And all of the user data, which is your documents and other information is stored using the AES 256 uh, encryption model at rest, 
and the TLS SSL uh, encryption mechanisms while they are being transported over the web. And coming to the legal aspects, Zoho Sign is actually compliant with several digital signature laws worldwide, most notably with the eSign Act and the UETA in the United States, the PIPEDA in Canada, the EIDAS regulations in Europe, uh, the ITA 2000 in India, and the Electronic Transaction Act in Australia, and several more laws across uh, different countries in the world. In fact, our data centers in Europe are compliant with the GDPR, and we have also undertaken the necessary measures to protect the data of our customers from California and ensure compliance with the new California Consumer Privacy Act. Zoho Science legal compliance is backed by a set of security features that include uh, multi-factor app authentication, role-based access, um, the ability to access periodic reports, tamper-proof audit trails, and also download completion certificates, and also the ability to authenticate your signers using SMS OTP, and the latest addition to this blockchain-based timestamping feature, which allows you to create a public immutable entry of documents being signed. However, the most important point to note is that Zoho Sign comes at a very affordable price point. Our standard edition can be availed at just $10 per user per month when you pay for it annually. Now, Zoho Sign prides itself in helping thousands of business owners stay on top of their game and close deals quickly. An important factor in that is the app's availability on the go. In addition to our web app, Zoho Sign is available natively for various mobile platforms such as Android, iOS, iPad OS, and Mac OS. I know that most of you already use several other Zoho apps, but what you might not know is that Zoho Sign is actually one of the most tightly integrated apps within the Zoho suite of software. With well over a dozen popular integrations, here's a list of the various supported integrations within the Zoho ecosystem. The apps we integrate with are Zoho CRM, Mail, People, Recruit, Workerly, Books, Invoice, Inventory, Forms, Writer, Work Drive, Docs, Creator, Flow, and Orchestly. And of course, Zoho Sign also integrates with several apps outside the Zoho suite. To help you connect with your preferred apps, Zoho Sign has integrations available for business software ecosystems like G Suite and Office 365, including an exclusive extension for the popular collaboration tool, Microsoft Teams. We also provide integrations for automation applications such as Zapier and Formstack documents. And Zoho Sign even readily integrates with several cloud-based third-party document storage solutions like Google Drive, OneDrive, Box, and Dropbox, allowing you to import and export your documents easily and manage the signed documents on these platforms. Here's a short list of some popular or widely implemented industrial use cases where Zoho Sign has replaced pen and paper completely and helped our customers automate operations in their journey. Notable use cases include sales, HR, finance, and legal with documents such as sale agreements, sale orders, uh, invoices, estimates, uh, NDAs, offer letters, etc. And other than this, Zoho Sign has also found its use in niche departments such as marketing, support, IT, and product management with customers using it to get documents like event registrations, campaign approval, policy documents, service uh, agreements, etc., uh, and more such documents signed on a quick manner. Now, if you see opportunities other than the ones listed in this particular slide to implement using Zoho Sign in your business, feel free to use it, explore further, and get back to us with feedback so we can help uh, you use Zoho Sign even better. So here's what the Zoho Sign web interface looks like for those who aren't familiar with the product. Now, if you're new to Zoho Sign, you can sign up at zoho.com slash sign and explore it entirely by yourself. Do note that you get a 14 day free trial with access to enterprise features upon signing up. So do not waste this opportunity to give it a shot. For any users who might have already availed our trial in the past, but have since exhausted it, do let us know if you would like to avail it once again and uh, to try out our recently released features and integrations. And uh, you can do that by simply dropping your email IDs in the chat asking for an extension of your trial, and we will activate it for you to reevaluate the product. With that, let's jump into the main focus of this webinar, which is a walkthrough of Zoho Science integration with the Zoho Finance apps. So what exactly does this integration allow you to do? Well, there are three main operations that you can do with this integration. 
and it's available across three different Zoho Finance applications. The operations are uh, sending digitally signed invoices to customers, sending digitally signed estimates to customers, and collecting digital signatures from your customers uh, on estimates using the client portal. All the three operations are available in both Zoho Books and Zoho Invoice. In Zoho Inventory, however, presently we only have the option to send digitally signed invoices to customers. But do keep in mind that these aren't going to be the only operations as we are looking to expand the set of functions available in this integration in the future, and we will have more financial documents included in this particular set of features. So what are the prerequisites uh, for using this or accessing this integration? Well, you need to have a valid Zoho sign license and you need to have a valid Zoho books or Zoho invoice or inventory license for whichever app you want to use. Or you need to have a valid Zoho Finance Plus license or you could just be a Zoho One uh, subscriber, meaning you have access to all of Zoho apps, uh, all of these Zoho apps and all of it is in, uh, included in your subscription plan. However, in addition, we, we need to note a couple of other things before going ahead and using this integration. The first one is that you need to have your user profile and e-signature set up inside your Zoho sign account. And you must also have the signature option enabled in the footer section of invoice and estimate templates inside these applications. Now, for more information on sign pricing, you can visit the link at the bottom uh, but I will quickly show you how to go about setting this integration. Setting up a user profile and e-signature in Zoho Sign. Now, allow me to quickly switch out of my presentation deck and go into a live demo here. Uh, I do have the slides uh, present here for you to refer to following the webinar when I send it out. But for now, I, I will be showing a live demo. All right. So you can see my screen, right? So I'm in the Zoho Sign dashboard, which I'd shown you earlier. To go about setting up your Zoho Sign profile and um, add your Zoho Sign e-signature, all you have to do is go to settings from the side navigation bar and click on profile. Now, once you're inside profile, you have all the various information associated with your Zoho Sign account or your Zoho account. And you can go about editing these fields of information. Once you've done these, you can add your e-signature, which is basically a digital form of your signature. And you can do so by clicking on the edit icon and you can upload your signature here. Now you can do this in three different manners. You can either type out your name and initial and pick out uh, one of our predefined fonts uh, or in signature styles that we have here. Or if you would like to draw your signature out, uh, for example, as I'm doing on the screen here, and add it uh, to your Zoho Sign account, you can do so. Or if you have your uh, signature saved as images in your uh, computer, you can have them uploaded to the uh, signature box in the initial box here and click OK. And once you've done that, your signature will be uploaded here and it will be saved for you to use in the integration with the finance applications. So basically, that's what I've explained here in the set of slides. Now let's move on to the next prerequisite, which is enabling photo signature in the invoice and estimate templates. Now this is something you need to do inside the templates uh, that you use for invoices and estimates inside Zoho Finance apps. For you to have the digital signature automatically added to your documents when you sign them. So let me once again quickly go into uh, the uh, one of the finance apps to show you how this can be done. So here I'm in my Zoho Books dashboard. Now. I'm going to go visit my templates. So I'm going to click on settings. I'm going to go to templates. Over here, I have the uh, templates set up for estimates and invoices. So I'm going to go ahead and enable photo signatures in my estimates and invoices. So what I'm going to do is click on edit in the template that I've set up. And I'm going to click on footer. Then there's this option called signature, which has been unchecked. I'm going to click that, check it up. And with that, I've enabled the signature and I'm gonna leave these fields blank and I'm gonna click on save. With that done, I've enabled signature in estimates and I'm gonna do the same for invoices as well. So I've clicked edit on invoice. I'm gonna click on footer and I'm gonna enable the signature option and I'm gonna click save. Now with that, we've enabled signatures for both estimates and invoices inside Zoho Books. So let's move on to uh, the next function that we have. This is basically how to set, uh, set up or enable the Zoho Sign integration itself within the Zoho Finance apps. 
So now that you've set up your Zoho Sign uh, profile and you've enabled signatures in your finance apps, all you have to do to uh, go ahead and start using the app, the integration is to have the integration itself set up. So to do that, let me once again, jump back into Zoho Books to show you how it can be done. All right. So I'm in my Zoho Books dashboard. So once again, I click on settings. I'm gonna go into integrations. And over here, I see the various integration options available inside Zoho Books. I'm gonna click on Zoho Apps. Now I'm gonna look for Zoho Sign and I found Zoho Sign here. And all I have to do now to connect, uh, uh, to enable this integration is click on the connect button. Once I click on connect, it takes me to this page for Zoho Sign. Over here, I click on connect now. Now, one exception here is if you don't already have your Zoho Sign account set up. If you don't have your Zoho Sign account set up, you would be asked to create an organization here, wherein you will be redirected to Zoho Sign, where you set up your Zoho Sign account first, then you will be brought back to the screen where you can connect your Zoho Books account with your Zoho Sign account. Now, given that I've already set both the accounts up, all I have to do is connect them. So I'm gonna click on connect now. Once I click on connect now, it's going to ask me for permissions and it's going to ask me to configure the in integration as well. Now, by clicking integrate, I offer Zoho uh, Books permission to access my Zoho Sign account. And over here, I can uh, tick enable or disable the various uh, functionalities offered by the integration to have them enabled in this particular account. So for now, I'm gonna leave all the functionalities enabled and I'm gonna click on integrate. So with that, it says the integration has been enabled successfully. And you can see that the Zoho Sign integration is now active. Now you can edit the various functionalities associated with this integration at any time by clicking edit. And it'll bring, bring the same pop-up up and you can uh, once again select or deselect and if you want to remove this integration you can click on delete but i'm not going to do that now so let's go back and see how this integration works so as you can see in the integrations page now it says view details instead of connect which means the integration has been enabled so let's move on so let me show you how to quickly uh, digitally sign an invoice so uh, let me jump back to zoho books here again all right so in my Zoho Books account, I can go to the invoice option. Uh, and over here, I have a couple of invoices that I've already set up. So to, to digitally sign an invoice, all I have to do is create an invoice, or if it's already saved, open an invoice. So let me go ahead and create a new invoice here. I'm gonna select, say, Dave Smith, who's my customer. And I'm going to uh, give the invoice an order number. And I'm going to select an item. Let's say we're giving them physical storage. And I'm just going to sell them, say, maybe five units of physical storage. Following which, now instead of what you would usually do, which is to save and send the invoice, I'm going to click the up arrow and I'm going to click on save and sign. So what happens now is that it creates the invoice and brings up this option for you to sign the invoice. And over here, you have a preview where you can see your signature, which has been set up inside the Zoho Sign account. And once you previewed your signature, you can click on Sign Invoice to go ahead and sign the invoice. As you can see, it says the invoice has been signed successfully. Now, this invoice carries your digital signature. So what happens when you try to send it? you're taken to your usual uh, mailing uh, screen. And over here, you have the invoice attached as an attachment. And you can see that it says that this invoice is digitally signed. You can even hover over the icon to see who signed it at what time uh, as a form of additional information. And you can go ahead and send it out to your particular customer. All right. So that's how you digitally sign an invoice. Now let me show you how you can digitally sign an estimate. So let me quickly navigate to the estimates module inside Zoho Books. So over here, I already have an estimate which, I, uh, which I've uh, sent out and invoiced. So what I'm going to do is create a new estimate. So let's, uh, let's once again, go ahead and choose our uh, customer, Zilker Industries and 
we're going to pick an item say we're giving them a digital signature certificate and it's the same thing as an invoice so when you want to sign an estimate all you have to do instead of setting save and send you hit the up arrow and you click on save and sign instead so once again it's going to bring up the signature preview and if i click on sign estimate it's going to sign the document but i want to show you something else i'm going to click on cancel here and i'm going to go back to my dashboard so let's say you have an estimate which was saved earlier say before the integration was set up and it hasn't been sent yet and before you send it out you want to make sure that you sign it so what happens in that case so if i go to my estimates the estimate that i haven't sent out or this even applies to invoice is going to be saved as a draft now in this case all i have to do is simply select that estimate and instead of send estimate or send invoice it's going to show me the option to sign it first and of course when you have this integration enabled you cannot send out any financial document uh, that is uh, invoices or estimates before you sign them so you can click on sign estimate and it's going to bring up the same preview uh, box where you can click on sign estimate and it's going to add your digital signature to this estimate and once again afterwards you will have the option to send it out so let's say i click on email and if i go down i can see that it has been digitally signed by john martin now you can configure this integration a little further by going to your preferences and uh so let me do let me show you how that's done i'm going to go to settings and i'm going to go to integrations i'm going to go to zoho sign now you can see that zoho sign is enabled for all three options right so what happens when you convert an estimate to an invoice will that digital signature hold good well not necessarily since you're creating a new document out of an old document and as i said a digital signature when added and changed will be invalid will, document will end up being invalidated so to prevent that from being from happening you actually have an option to automatically uh, add your digital signature to your invoice so all you have to go do is go to uh, settings and preferences and over here when you go to estimates what happens when an estimate uh, gets converted to invoice you can select the option to yes save sign and send which automatically adds your digital signature to invoices when an estimate is converted to an invoice upon customer acceptance all right now let me go ahead and show you the third option which is to collect a third functionality which is to collect your customer's digital signature in invoices so over here uh, let me once again use the same invoice uh, same estimate that i created just now so this estimate has been signed but is yet to be sent to the customer so i'm going to go ahead and email it out to barbara who's the customer who will be uh, approving this particular estimate so i'm going to click on send and with that this estimate will be sent now what i've done here is i've given client portal access to barbara meaning she will receive the estimate on her client portal and as a result she would have to approve it from her end for me to start uh, uh, processing this transaction and convert it to an invoice so uh, let's assume for a second that I'm Barbara and I'm I'm going to go open up my email where I received my uh, estimate. As you can see this is Barbara's email inbox and it says there's a new estimate waiting uh, their approval. So I open up that email and the estimate uh, there's a link to view the estimate. So I click on view estimate what happens is it takes barbara to uh, view the estimate but she would have to log in to her client portal to view the estimate and approve it so i'm going to click on log in here and i'm going to enter barbara's email address and uh, password to log into her client portal
And as you can see on your screen, it says there's one estimate waiting to be approved by Barbara. And I'm going to open that estimate up. And I can view this estimate on my screen as a PDF. But before I can go ahead and approve it, I must click uh, uh, to go ahead and approve it. I must click accept. But unlike the traditional process where there are no digital signatures involved, here it says digitally signed. As a result, Barbara would also have to counter sign it or counter digitally sign it for it to be approved and converted to an invoice. So let's see. As uh, we can see, Barbara clicks on accept. And now it's asking for Barbara to insert her signature. So once again, there are three different options for Barbara to uh, insert her signature. One is she could draw the signature out or she could type out her name and have it uh, uh, stylized and added to the document or she could upload an image of a signature. For convenience, I'm going to use the second option and I'm going to click on sign and accept. So with that, the document has been digitally signed by Barbara, affirming her acceptance of the quote. Now let's go back uh, to the books dashboard of the person who sent out the estimate. And now we can see if we go to estimates, the new estimate is also going to say accepted. Then you can go ahead, click on it and convert it to an invoice and it'll automatically be converted to a a signed invoice. You once again have the option to save and sign. I click on save and sign and the invoice will be created and it'll once again prompt me to sign the invoice. I sign it. And with that, it's as simple as that. You digitally sign an estimate, send it out to a customer, collect their signature using the client portal, and then you have it back in your dashboard and you convert it to an invoice and have it signed as well. Now, with that, I've covered the three main functionalities of this integration, but I understand that I've shown all of this to you in Zoho Books. So let me quickly jump into my Zoho invoice dashboard and show you how it works there as well. So this is my Zoho invoice dashboard. And over here, I'm gonna uh, start using Zoho Sign uh, uh, as an integration to try and sign my estimates and invoices. So for that, I will once again have to go to integrations the process is pretty much the same as Zoho Books. I would have to go to Zoho Apps and then click on Connect next to Zoho Sign. And then it asks me to connect my Zoho Sign account and pro pro provides me with the integration configuration options. I select the ones that I need and I click on Integrate. And with that, my Zoho Invoice account is connected to my Zoho Sign account as well. Now all I have to do is go and start creating estimates and invoices. So uh, let me see. Uh, let me okay. Let me go ahead and create an invoice. Uh, all right. I, it seems that I already have an invoice in the draft status. The process of creating an invoice and an estimate is the same as books. And once we do so, it'll ask. It'll prompt us to sign the invoice. But I've missed one step here, which I will be prompted to rectify as soon as I click on sign invoice. So I'm going to click sign invoice, and it's going to give me a pop up saying to sign this invoice you have to enable signature block in the invoices template. So remember in the books account, I went to the, in, the templates of invoice and estimates and enable signature in the footer. I have not done that in my invoice account. So what this integration does is that it's smart enough to automatically understand that that option is not enabled and it immediately prompts me to do so. And I do not have to go manually to my template to do so uh, in such a case. I can simply click on enable signature and it does it in the back end for me and starts signing the invoice. And then I click on sign invoice and the invoice is signed. It's as simple as that. And with that, I can now send this invoice out to my customer and have them uh, process with, uh, proceed with payment. And if it's an estimate, I can have it sent out to my customer and have them counter sign it from their end and then convert it to an invoice for me to start processing the transaction. Now, let me jump into my Zoho inventory dashboard and show you how this is done. One thing you need to understand is that Zoho Books and Zoho Inventory, if you subscribe to Zoho Finance Plus or Zoho One, will be connected in the backend. Therefore, integrating your Zoho Books account with your Zoho Sign account will automatically integrate Zoho Inventory with your Zoho Sign account as well. So over here, I've uh, 
already connected my Zoho uh, sign account with my Zoho books account. So what happens when I go to integrations in my Zoho inventory is that I go to Zoho apps and I see that Zoho sign is already active by virtue of having my books account connected with my sign account. So now all I have to do uh, in my Zoho inventory account is to go ahead and start sending my customers out invoices for their orders. And the process is pretty much the same. I go ahead and create an invoice. So let me see. I create an invoice, I select the customer, and then I give them an item. And instead of save and send, I click on, all right, give me a second. I, I need to refresh the page. All right, should work now. So when I click the invoice, uh, when I create an invoice, I add the details. And instead of save and send, I'm gonna click the up arrow and I'm gonna have save and sign as one of the options. I go ahead and select it and the invoice is created and I can go ahead and sign the invoice and send it out to my customer. So the integration is essentially the same across all the three different applications, Zoho Books, Zoho Invoice and Zoho Inventory. And the process of setting it up and the conditions involved are also pretty much the same. So I hope this information has been pretty informative for you. So let me move on. Now, I understand that there are a few uh, key uh, conditions such as having recurring invoices, uh, et cetera, involved with certain customers with the type of business that you do. So for this, once again, uh, similar to how I showed you can convert an estimate which has been digitally signed to a digitally signed invoice, you can go to your settings and preferences and have the recurring invoice automatically signed uh, option enabled so that you don't have to manually go and sign a, an invoice which is uh, you know raised on a periodic process all right let me jump back into my presentation so i have the slides filled with the screenshots uh, uh, that will guide you to go about setting this up and uh, you know uh, press, uh, start using this integration but I showed you a live demonstration instead. So you can either refer to the recording for the live demonstration or refer to the slides um, if you want to document. So with that, we've come to the uh, end of the walkthrough of the Zoho Sign integration for Zoho Finance apps. And uh, here are a few resourceful links for you to visit and learn more about this integration between uh, the uh, applications involved. And uh, you can also note down the links to our forums uh, where you can reach out for help and post your queries. Uh, this can also help you interact with our user community as we also respond to your needs at the same time on one common forum. Now I will leave these links on for the next 15 or so minutes so you can note them down. And I believe with that, we've come to the end of this uh, webinar session. So I'll start taking questions soon. So I'll just leave the screen on for the next five or so uh, seconds so you can note these links down. Okay. Um, so as I said, you can always reach out to our support with any elaborate questions or feedback requirements or seek assistance uh, for any issues that you face. Uh, your engagement will actually help us uh, uh, serve you better. And uh, if you want to uh, seek immediate assistance, you can always write to support at Zoho Sign and we'll have our engineers take a look at your query and get back to you. Uh, feel free to note down that email address. And with that, I think I'll leave this session open for questions. Uh, start, you can start leaving your questions uh, using the chat option, and I'll take a look at them one after the other and start giving you answers. All right, I can see a good number of questions from the audience members. So just give me a minute or so to start reading them and uh, formulating my responses uh, to each of the question that has been each of the questions that have been posted here. Uh, some members have experienced difficulty in um, uh, seeing my screen or hearing me during uh, the webinar, uh, as in in the middle of the webinar. Uh, in case you missed out on any crucial parts, do not worry, as uh, I will be sending the recording of this webinar and the presentation deck as well to all the registered email, uh, registered members' email addresses. All right, let me proceed with the questions that are being posted here. So one user has asked if Zoho Sign can be accessed in CRM custom modules 
and that there are instructions only available for the standard integration. Uh, yes, uh, ma'am. Uh, sign can be integrated with CRM uh, by and added to custom modules that you create inside CRM. This can be done with the help of our custom functions, uh, by which help you add uh, a Zoho sign button inside your custom module, which will function similar to our existing Zoho uh, CRM integration that will help you directly import your documents from CRM into Zoho Sign and send them out for signature. Uh, for more uh, information on this, uh, please write to support at Zoho Sign. I will also respond to this particular query with uh, the necessary help documentation links uh, at the end of this session. All right, uh, another uh, audience member has asked us if images can be added to, added to templates. Uh, he's quoted an example stating that uh, there is they have a proposal which we which they send out wherein a, a custom image is added to each of their proposals before they send it out, as a result of which uh, they want to be able to add an image into the digital document before sending out. So, uh, so if I understand your question correctly, uh, you have different types of proposals which you send out to uh, different customers, each of which have their own customized image which is inserted into the proposal when you send out. So uh, how I think this can be achieved is by creating multiple templates inside Zoho Books or Zoho uh, Invoice or whichever Zoho Finance app you use. You can create varying templates, each of which has the particular uh, associated image inserted into them already. And then you can go ahead and uh, use that particular template when creating an invoice by selecting the template option uh, as you add an invoice and then uh, uh, using Zoho Sign to sign the particular template. At present, this integration only supports addition of your digital signature, and uh, we do not uh, have the standard options available inside the Zoho Sign app, such as being able to add other fields of information available inside the Zoho Finance app at this point in time. Uh, there's a question that is asked is uh, if Zoho Sign is included uh, with Zoho One or if the purchase has to be made separately. Uh, yes, ma'am, Zoho Sign is very much a part of Zoho One, so by subscribing to Zoho One, uh, you will be getting uh, enterprise access to Zoho Sign as well. You do not need to purchase a separate license. The customers asked us, uh, has, has asking us if uh, we support a Czech Republic's languages and punctuations in Zoho Sign. Uh, so, uh, Czech is not presently one of the supported languages of Zoho Sign. However, we will take this up as feedback and look to add it to our supported languages in the near future. And an additional question being if there is any confirmation sent to the user upon enabling SMS authentication wherein an SMS is sent. At this point in time, there is no confirmation to the user that is sent when an SMS has been sent out. But if you face any issues uh, in terms of your SMS delivery when you have this option enabled, do write to support at Zoho Sign and we will more than be happy to take it up with our telecom provider to ensure that our uh, SMSs are delivered without any failure. There's a question that's asking us if uh, if we do not attach a PDF estimate or invoice, will the signature still be uh, visible with the link that has been sent to see the estimate or invoice? Uh, so uh, the, the link that you were talking about is a part of the email that you get from uh, the Zoho Finance app. Uh, all Zoho apps are such that the email will lead you to uh, the document through a separate link and contents of the document will not be visible in the email itself as that could possibly be abused. As a result, uh, the signature itself is not a part of the email. However, when you access the document using the link, you will be able to download a PDF version of the document. And if you open that PDF uh, document in your Adobe Reader, it will say that uh, it has been digitally signed at the top and you can use the Adobe features to validate the signatures uh, present in the document. A question has been uh, mentioned wherein uh, the users asked us uh, if a signature is inserted using the draw method, that is if a users draws their signature on the screen using their option when they're inserting it, if it's recorded biometrically. Uh, sir, it's, the signature is not recorded biometrically uh, where uh, in this particular scenario, it's simply, uh, the signature that the user draws, which is inserted into the document. However, how we authenticate this particular user is uh, through the various authentication mechanisms that we have, such as uh, having them sign into the Zoho Sign application using their credentials or having them sign into their uh, client portal using their credentials, which establishes their identity pretty clearly. 
as a result of which we are able to capture uh, their signature. Biometric signatures are something that we are yet to support in Zoho Sign. Uh, maybe a few, uh, a few months or maybe a year down the line, uh, something similar to this uh, is uh, in the works and might be uh, coming up. One of uh, the attendees has given us a feedback uh, wherein they've said they want their customers to sign invoices as well and uh, asked us if it's on the roadmap. Uh, yes, sir, this is a requirement uh, that we are aware of. Uh, we have received feedback on this uh, upon release. As a result, it is actually in the works and uh, our team is working to build this into the integration. We will be uh, intimating all our users once this is available. So until then, uh, uh, this might not be possible with the integration itself. However, if you want your customers to sign invoices, you can use the Zoho Sign app itself, wherein you can upload a copy of your invoice and send it out to your customer, uh, uh, asking them to sign it and have the copy sent back to you. A users asked us if we were able to create contracts in Zoho Sign and collect signatures and also process payment uh, or collect signatures and credit card payment information. All right, uh, ma'am, um, at the moment, Zoho Sign does not uh, have an editor where you can create documents from scratch. However, you can upload documents which have already been created to Zoho Sign and send it out for signatures. And Zoho Sign has something called the templates feature where you can create a, a, a similar a document of a reusable format and upload it to Zoho Sign and you can keep sending it out by just filling in the necessary fields of information for different recipients. And uh, you can use this to collect signatures. However, uh, you, uh, we do not advise collecting uh, information such as credit card uh, payment information as it's sensitive. And uh, we also do not currently support uh, collecting payments using Zoho Sign, but that's where the Zoho invoice integration comes in. As if you raise invoices using Zoho invoice or Zoho books, uh, you can uh, process payment as soon as the, uh, the invoice has been sent to customers. Again, uh, we have a couple more uh, users who expressed uh, that they face difficulties uh, in the middle of the presentation. Uh, do not worry, as I will be sending a copy of this uh, recording and the deck uh, to your email address uh, once this webinar is done. All right, one user asked us if customers are required to create a customer portal to digitally sign documents. Uh, Ma'am, customers are not required to create customer portals. Rather, when you are the vendor who's using Zoho Books or Zoho Invoice, you will be adding customers, uh, customer records in your customer's module inside the application. And when you're creating a customer record, you have the option to enable client portal for them uh, as you're adding the record. And once you enable the option, they will be getting an email to their email address through which they can access the portal uh, and set up uh, their username and password, et cetera. A few people have asked us if it's possible to demo Zoho Sign separately as an app. Uh, I did uh, uh, show a link earlier in the resources uh, slide where uh, there was an option to schedule a demo with our team. Regardless, you can always drop uh, uh, your email in the chat if you would like to avail a, a demo of Zoho Sign in the future, and we will try to have our support engineer reach out and set up a suitable time for you to have a complete demo of the product. Alternatively, you can also write to support at Zoho Sign with your queries, and we will look to address them. Some uh, uh, audience members uh, said they had lost the audio when I was answering uh, questions. Uh, do not worry if you missed out on an answer to any particular question. We will be recording this session and uploading it to YouTube as well as sending it to you by email. So you can always come back to that to refer to my answers. Uh, users asked us if digital signatures are mandatory. Uh, this is something that is uh, down to your uh, regional regulations. Depending on what your region dictates and what your region accepts uh, by law, you can choose to have digital signatures or you can proceed without the integration. But the advantage of using this integration is that you have a form of additional security added to your financial documents, uh, which enables you to est establish authentication measures and uh, other forms of security, uh, as a result of which sensitive information always can be traced back and have accountability established as well. Uh, another user asked us if uh, we could have a separate session with one of our uh, product engineers or experts as they have a lot of questions to ask. Absolutely, sir. Please write to uh, support at Zoho Sign. I would also be making note of this uh, query so our support engineer can reach out to you and schedule uh, a call with you and help you out with your needs. Another question we have is if a customer must have portal access to digitally sign an estimate, 
Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, estimates have to be signed using this particular integration can only be sent to customers uh, in their portals as a result of which uh, uh, for the customer to sign it, they need to have portal access. If the customer's portal access is disabled, all they will be getting is an email of an estimate which is digitally signed by you, which they will not be revert, uh, which will they will not be able to revert to you with a countersigned uh, estimate. Uh, customers ask us if it's possible to have Zoho signed documents sent directly through emails or if it has to be sent as a PDF. Uh, sir, if by by that you mean if sending a document out as an attachment for signature or simply have them uh, uh, a link sent which they can click on and access your document and sign it. Yes, absolutely. That is possible using Zoho sign in Zoho sign. As I said, there's a feature called sign forms, which allows you to set up a document on your end, which can be accessed through a public URL. And uh, this URL can be shared through email or through uh, any forms of any channels of communication which can be accessed by the person uh, to whom it's sent and they click on the link, they open up the document, they fill up a form and they start signing the document. There's a question that's asked us if Zoho Sign is PCI compliant. Uh, Ma'am, at present Zoho Sign itself is not PCI compliant, but uh, it's something that we are working on and we will intimate our customers once it happens to uh, be PCI compliant. Meanwhile, you can leverage this integration to use the Zoho Finance apps, uh, which I believe are PCI compliant. Is a person who's asked us if it's possible to integrate uh, Zoho Sign invoice and projects. Uh, so uh, at present, this integration only covers Zoho Finance apps and Zoho Sign. Uh, our, an integration with projects is in the works, and we will intimate you once uh, it is enabled. And until then, I believe uh, you can use, uh, uh, say, Zoho Flow to connect Zoho Sign with Zoho invoice and Zoho projects. Uh, if you need more uh, material to uh, know how to do that, you can uh, write to support at Zoho Sign and we'll respond with the necessary help documentation. All right, I, I have a question where uh, 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 users ask us if an invoice can be signed with the help of a host as some customers might not be savvy enough to uh, use a technology uh, such as Zoho Sign or use an online portal to sign the document. Uh, sir, at present, uh, I, I understand that you're speaking about the in-person signer feature that is available inside the Zoho Sign app itself. Uh, presently, this integration does not support the in-person signer feature. As a result, uh, it would require the customer to directly sign the documents. But I will take this as feedback and forward it to the finance team so that the teams will look on supporting this future in the uh, feature in the future. And uh, once work. Uh, starts underway with this feature and uh, we finish developing it, we will let uh, uh, the users know as it's available. There's a question if there's a if a customer has accepted an estimate, the only way to check if it's been accepted is to go back to books to see the estimate or if there's an option to set up an email. Uh, yes, sir, there are, uh, yes, ma'am, there are options uh, where you can enable notifications for changes made to your estimates or invoices inside the Zoho Finance app itself, not necessarily books, invoice or inventory. And what this does is it provides you with real time notifications as your invoices have been uh, uh, paid for or if your ex estimates have been um, you know, accepted and converted to an invoice. There are notifications available inside the, uh, the finance app itself, which will let you know if uh, a, 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 doc a particular uh, estimate has been signed by the customer. Uh, you don't have to manually check uh, the dashboard for you to see if it has been signed. There's a very uh, unique uh, requirement that I've uh, that I've received. Uh, a customer said they they have different company names and logos that we they would like to put into different documents uh, at different points when they send it out for signatures. I understand uh, that uh, this involves some level of uh, custom branding, but segregated across the different companies uh, that your organization represents. Uh, this is something that is not presently supported in Zoho Sign or Zoho CRM. But we're working on uh, enhancing our branding options in the future, which will allow you to add uh, multiple iterations of branding, uh, uh, which have been customized for your templates. And as a result, work with multiple logos and multiple uh, you know, uh, colors, et cetera. A person said uh, Zoho CRM does not support in-person signature. Uh, sir, I believe uh, the extension with Zoho CRM actually does support in-person signature. Uh, but in case you're facing any trouble in accessing this particular feature, uh, do write to support at Zoho Sign and we will have our engineers take a look into your query. 
another user asked us if there's any link uh, to the help uh, documentation of this integration and help documentation of the applications involved. So yes, you can visit uh, the help documentation of these uh, of the apps involved. Uh, they're present in the support. Uh, they're present in the resources uh, slide. Uh, let me just quickly shift back to the resources slide so you can take a look at uh, the links as I uh, read out the questions. So yeah, please note down the links that you see on your screen to reach out for help. Another question asks us if there's a possibility of adding an additional document when sending an invoice out for signatures such as a contract. Uh, so the, presently the integration does not support adding additional documents. I understand that you uh, will send out an invoice from your Zoho Finance app and then go into Zoho Sign manually to send out the additional document. Uh, but we will take this as a feedback request and uh, look to implement it in our product roadmap. Another question is if there are possibilities of having multiple signatures inserted into the invoice by higher authorities at your workplace. Uh, Ma'am, this is again uh, something that is not supported in this particular integration. However, if you would like to uh, have multiple signatures in one document, you can use the Zoho Sign web app where you can create a workflow involving multiple signers of a, in a particular order so that the document goes uh, through the workflow uh, to the different signers in a particular order as they sign it uh, when they receive it. A follow-up question on uh, the collection of personal uh, information such as credit card payment is uh, has been asked uh, whether if uh, the document will be taken down if such information is collected. Uh, Ma'am, uh, we do not take down documents and we do not uh, actually uh, go through the documents of our users. Uh, what information is being collected is entirely confidential and Zoho uh, does not uh, simply encrypts it and uh, has it in our storage. Uh, what I said when we do not encourage collection of personal information is that uh, such information can be subjected to uh, uh, abuse or misuse and uh, typically by law or by regulation, it is not advised to collect such information and uh, Zoho, itself does not collect credit card information on uh, such uh, or any other sensitive customer information in our processes uh, when uh, we have our customers uh, sign up for our uh, applications and their usage. Uh, another question, uh, if there are, if the number of signatures uh, allowed under the Zoho One package is unlimited. Uh, so uh, with regard to the uh, finance integrations, yes, you have uh, unlimited uh, signature uh, signatures available under the Zoho One package. However, if you're using the advanced automation features of other integrations, or if you're using the Zoho Sign features such as bulk send in person, uh, uh, bulk send and sign forms, there are certain limitations uh, applicable under a fair usage policy. But beyond that, if you want to just simply send out documents using the Zoho Sign user interface, you are free to do so uh, into as many uh, recipients as possible. Uh, a user has requested uh, if Zoho Sign could be integrated with Zoho Checkout so that the client will sign the documents and approve uh, the payment process uh, right away. Uh, this is something that we are actively working on. Zoho Sign with, uh, will be expanding its set of integrations within Zoho Finance itself and will soon offer an integration with Zoho Checkout. But at present, this is not available. So we will intimate uh, uh, all our users once this has been made available. Now, I understand that uh, there have been a couple of elaborate and very complex questions that have been uh, uh, shot, uh, entered in the chat. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to answer such questions immediately, but the ones who have raised these questions, you can rest assured that if I have not been able to address these questions individually, I'll definitely have a Zoho Sign engineer reach out to you with a suitable response or the necessary assistance. Uh, I'm just going to quickly see if there are any further questions that I've not answered and then wrap the session up. All right, one last question. Uh, a user has asked us if there is any other way of getting an, a, a customer to sign a quote outside their client portal. Uh, so if you're planning to use the integration with finance apps, yes, unfortunately, there are no other ways of sending uh, a, an estimate out to a client and getting their signature. But if you do not intend to use the integration, but you intend to get the customer to sign the uh, estimate anyway, what I would suggest is you can upload a copy of the estimate to Zoho Sign and send it out to them for uh, collecting their signature. All right, I see that I've answered pretty much every question with that. Uh, with that, I will wrap this session up. Thank you, everyone. Uh, on behalf of the Zoho Sign team for attending this session and engaging uh, me with those questions at the end.
uh, I truly appreciate your feedback and interactions. Uh, and on that note, I'll take my leave and sign off from the session. Have a great day. Goodbye.